Initially considered a medicine, the soft drink first appeared in the pharmacists as they served up various flavours of carbonated water. These sodas became so popular that customers wanted to be able to buy them in bottles and take them home. That demand spawned the soft drink industry. Billions of litres of fizzy drinks are consumed each year around the world. These two-litre plastic bottles have just arrived from the bottle factory. Even though they're brand new bottles, the soft drink plant still has to clean them before filling them. This rinsing machine turns the bottles upside down, then flushes them with water, the plant filters on site. Once the water drains out, the machines turn the bottles right side up again and they make their way to the filling station. Meanwhile, in the mixing room, technicians prepare whatever soft drink they'll be bottling in this production run. Each recipe begins with filtered water. It makes up to 86% of the drink. The rest is syrup. Each syrup recipe is a combination of carefully measured ingredients, natural and artificial colouring and flavouring, and one or more of various types of sugar such as glucose or fructose, extracted from beets, corn or cane. This machine releases the right proportion of syrup to filtered water, creating the final soft drink minus the bubbles. The drink now travels to a pressurised tank called the carbonator. There, an injection of carbon dioxide infuses the drink with gas bubbles. The carbonated soft drink now travels to the reservoir of the bottling machine. The machine removes the air in each bottle, then fills it with, in this case, two litres of cola. Now on to the capping machine. The caps come down a chute propelled by filtered air. The machine twists a cap on the part of the bottle called the crimp, intertwining the threads of the cap and crimp tightly to hermetically seal the bottle. Next stop, labelling. The machine's roller applies cold glue to one metal plate after another. Each plate then grabs a label and applies it to a bottle. Brushes smooth edges down ensuring the labels adhere well. Elsewhere in the plant, a machine called the Uncaser unloads cases of refillable glass bottles that have come back to the factory. The cases continue toward a case washing machine. The dirty bottles head towards the bottle washing machine, where devices called cells line them up in rows of 16. Each bottle tilts and enters the washer neck first. Inside, a combination of powerful water jets and soap remove dirt and germs. Then water jets rinse off all traces of soap. As they exit, they pass in front of a neon inspection light. Workers pull any problem bottles off the line. Now the bottles head to the same bottling machine as before. Only now, it's been adjusted to fill each bottle with 300 milliliters of drink. In this case, Orange Aid. This factory takes a sample from each production run for quality control testing. The lab technicians check such things as the dilution ratio of syrup to water, the carbonisation level and the airtight seal. They also analyse the purity of the drink and container by running the sample through a paper filter. They put the filter in a petri dish, containing the nutrients needed to grow microorganisms. Then they incubate at a precise temperature and observe if any bacteria grow. These glass bottles have metal bottle tops. As each top drops down onto a bottle, the machine squeezes it tightly, creating an airtight seal. So next time you fancy a fizzy drink, all you need to do is pop to the shop.